If you're like me and you get easily overwhelmed by the amount of things on the screen, uh, that's why I usually try to hide as many things as I can on the screen. You might get overwhelmed by the amount of tracks you had in a songwriting template, for example. And in this songwriting template, I have a lot of tracks because I like to have all options available, like uh, right there. But it can get overwhelming with just visually. So that's why I usually recommend putting all of the tracks that you're not gonna right away use into a folder and then hide that folder like this. Um, I'll show you how to actually make the tracks when they are super collapsed hide. I have an article on that. And these also are gonna be muted so they don't consume any CPU. So all of these tracks below here are gonna be muted and they are not consuming CPU. And if I ever want to use them, it's very handy to have them and just click and drag into here. So now I can start using these tracks. Now, what if I want to make this even more minimal looking? You can even go even further with showing only the things that you really want. And I have this really handy cycle action that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to pretty much select the tracks that I want to see, just these three. I'm going to hit this cycle action. Now I only have these three tracks, the most important tracks um, that I'm going to need for the moment. So these three, I can start using them and I can switch between the three and start writing in here maybe some bass lines. Uh, so if I switch to... Or switch to the drums, start writing drums. Stuff like that. I just have these three tracks, it's very focused and very minimal. I very like this view. I I find that I get less distracted and more focused on the thing I'm working on. So how do we get this cycle action? It's actually really, really simple, but you need an extension. And it's the SWS extension. Do you see how I click on it again and all of the tracks appear again? Well, that's the point of the cycle action. It's basically you can create a toggle to show only the selected tracks uh, like this and then do more stuff with it and then go back to your previous view. So to create this cycle action, you will go to extensions. You need the SWS extension for this and go to cycle action editor. In here, I have this one called show only track selected. And I have these three scripts and then a step, and then this one. Uh, you need, yeah, you will need repack install as well with this script to make them. So to create a cycle action, you will hit right click in here, add cycle action, and you will start show only tracks selected, for example. Um, it's very important to, that you make this a toggle so enabling toggle in there. And then it's a matter of going to the actions menu and then finding these four actions and their command idea. So the first one will be Archie, uh, save all tracks visible uh, to slot one, this one. You would go right click, copy selected action command ID like this and start building in here. You will pretty much paste it. Um, oh, actually, if you have it selected, you can just right click, add selected actions in the action menu, and it's gonna do it automatically. So you can proceed with the others. I'm gonna expand this so you can see better the description. So yeah, this select children, I'll select the folder track, and show select the tracks in TCP, hide others. You can pause the video and recreate this yourself. And in here, you will add a step. And to do that, you right click, add step. This is a way to create the toggle. So pretty much all of these will run when you hit the action. And when you hit it again, it's gonna restore all the tracks as you had them before. So to break this down, first, you're gonna save all the visible tracks to a memory. And it's, all, it's also gonna select all of the children. So if you have tracks that are inside, for example, if I select this folder 
it's going to also select the children and show all uh, the children as well. Um, this is optional, only if you want that. I usually just select the folders as well. So for example, I will select these two folders and now I have all these tracks. And then you will have show selected track in TCP and high orders. That's pretty much the action that is making every, everything disappear and show only the selected tracks. And if you hit the action again, it's going to restore all the tracks to how you had it before. I forgot to mention the most important part. After you're done with your cycle action, it should appear in your actions menu. So just search for the name that you use. So for example, show only selected tracks like that. Um, that's a cycle action. So to put this in the toolbar, you would right click the toolbar, customize toolbar, and just add this thing right here and just hit select. And yeah, put an icon on there. I have this icon with the eye icon, pretty handy. I like that it turns blue when it's active. That's why it's a toggle. Pretty good. Yeah. That's However, it's really important that if you, um, this is not going to get saved into the project. So if you save the project and let's say that you have only the base showing, and you forgot to click this again. Yeah, that would be a problem. Um, you will have to restore everything um, manually. That's the only downside of this. But I find that you get used to restoring the visibility. So, so yeah, it's fine. Um, hope that helps uh, minimizing and making these things less overwhelming and more focused. I usually get really distracted really easily. So these kind of things help a lot. Um, but yeah, let me know if there's anything else um, I can show you for some, some writing template tips. <laughs> See ya, bye bye.